Hi, welcome back. This is Mr. Peck here. Uh, now we are still in the subtopic work done. And this is our second question. Let us read this question together. A block of mass 10 kg is pulled up a plane inclined at 30 degree with the horizontal for a distance of 5 meter but a force of 120 newton which acts along the plane. If the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.4, calculate the work done by the gravitational force, the energy loss to overcome the friction, uh, the work done by the force 120 newton, the work done by the normal force, the total kinetic energy of the block after 5 meter displacement, and the velocity of the block after it has moved 5 meter up the plane. Okay, basically, this is a block on an inclined plane, and that plane is a rough surface because it gives us the coefficient of kinetic friction. Okay, um, and there are several forces act acting on the object, and we need to find the work done uh, for each of them. Okay, and then to ca calculate the total kinetic energy uh, after the displacement means the final kinetic energy and also the final velocity. So to do this question, first of all, uh, just like chapter 4, we need to draw the free body diagram first. Always start with drawing the free body diagram to show all the forces acting on the object. Okay, uh, So this is the uh, block on the inclined plane at 30 degree. So uh, this is the free body diagram. It has shown all the forces acting on the object. It has the normal force perpendicular to the surface. It has the external force, 120 newton, pulling the block up the plane. And it has the weight directly downward, the weight mg directly downward, and also the friction uh, opposite the motion. Okay? Friction down the plane uh, opposed the motion. Okay, so these are the forces uh, acting on the object. We must draw first the free body diagram. And the information given is the external force 120 newton, and we have also the displacement. Okay, please, uh, for this chapter five, chapter five, instead of uh, drawing the acceleration, we draw displacement. Uh, we use we draw the displacement. We must draw the displacement beside the free diagram because we want to calculate work done. Because work done has uh, included the displacement. Work done equal to Fs cos theta. Uh, so it has the displacement. So free diagram, please include the displacement. Uh, we include the displacement because uh, we want to get the, the value of angle theta. Yeah, because the theta is the angle between the force and displacement. Alright? Okay, information given is the mu, mu k 0 0.4, mass 10 kilogram. Alright, now the first part. What is the work done by gravitational force? Okay, uh, how to calculate? So we use the formula uh, W equal to Fs cos theta. Yeah, it's a dot product. Uh, F dot S equal to F dot uh, Fs cos theta. Okay, um, in the, because we have learned that earlier. Yeah? So work done by gravity, uh, it says ask for work done by gravitational force. So we we label the work done as WG, uh, WG, uh, work done by gravitational force. And the force is the uh, gravitational force or the weight, mg. So F is like F dot S. Uh, this time our F is mg, uh, dot the displacement. So I have drawn, okay, you redraw the diagram. Uh, we only draw on, we only draw the mg and also uh, the displacement up the plane uh, only draw these two okay uh, so easy for us to get the angle theta you see uh, so the mg is directly downward displacement uh, up the plane so from here we can easily get the angle theta okay so we know that uh, this is 30 degree uh, adding with another uh, 90 degree here here is a 90 degree. So uh, the total angle is uh, 90 plus 30, uh, which is uh, 120 degree 
between the weight and the displacement. Okay, uh, so then we can solve the questions. Mass is uh, 10 kilogram, uh, G is 9.81, displacement is 5 meter, and then cost, cost 120. Uh, okay, 120 degree. Sorry, yeah. Please uh, rewrite that. <laughs> okay, it's a bit messy. Uh, cost 120 degree. Okay, and for that, we calculate, we will get um, a negative 245.25 Joule. Uh, that's our work done uh, by the gravity. Okay? Now, uh, for the next part, what is the energy loss to overcome the friction? Oh, now we want to find the work done due to friction. So, work done by friction, we label as W friction, okay, uh, kinetic friction. So, now this time the force is the friction. So, it's friction dot displacement, alright. So, it's uh, change, we got uh, friction dot displacement become friction displacement cos theta, okay. Uh, before that, we, need, we don't have the friction, we need to calculate the friction. So, how to calculate the friction? Uh, we have the mu, we have the mu, so now how to find the friction? What's the formula for friction? Friction is uh, equal to mu kn, okay? Friction is mu kn, we have the mu, but we don't have the normal force. Uh, we don't have the normal force, so how? Uh, okay, so to get the normal force, first we need to resolve the mg, okay? You resolve the mg. So resolve it, okay, and here we have uh, this part is uh, uh, this part is mg cos mg because adjacent to 30 degree. So mg cos 30 and this part is mg sine 30. Okay, so what is n equal to? n is equal to mg cos 30, okay. Uh, n is equal to mg cos 30. Uh, okay, then we could just substitute inside all the values, the mass, 10 kilogram, oh, sorry, cos 30. So we will get uh, this one 84.957 Newton. That is the normal force. Now let's calculate the friction. 0 0.4 times the normal force we get and we will have 33.983 newton ah that's our friction okay that's our friction we got it yeah you have to find the normal force first okay now once we got the friction uh we can okay we need to get angle theta so what's the angle theta between friction and displacement this one upward. Uh, so we need to compare between these two. So between friction and displacement, it is 180 degree. Okay. So now let's substitute. So just now friction is 33.983. Yeah, put it inside. Uh 33.983 times the displacement is a uh, 5 meter. Okay. We got it. Yeah. Displacement, uh, and then uh, cos 180 degree. Uh, and then, of course, we know that cos 180 is equal to negative 1. Okay? Uh, cos 180 is negative 1. So, we got negative 169.915 Joule. That's our work done due to friction. Okay? Uh, Anyway, you see the work done by gravity, work done by gravity is negative, work done by friction also negative. This, this means that both of these uh, work done will slow down the object. Uh, negative means it will slow down the object or decrease the kinetic energy of object as the object moves up the plane. Okay? The negative means now it decreases the kinetic energy. Now, next part is what is the work done by the force? 
120 newton. Uh, so we draw the force, work, uh, work done by external force, uh, 120 newton. Okay, this is the, actually the uh, 120 newton. Uh, 120 newton. So, um, yeah, force. Uh, this force is parallel to displacement. Uh, yeah, this force is parallel to displacement. So, what we can we say about the angle theta? The angle theta is zero degree because they are same direction. So now let's substitute inside. We have the force hundred and twenty newton displacement five meter, uh, cause zero degree. Okay. Uh, so zero cos zero is equal to equal to one actually yeah cos zero is equal to one uh, now uh so after we multiply we get six hundred joule for work done by external force and this one it work done is positive means uh, a positive work done will increase the kinetic energy yeah uh so uh maybe we write down yeah this negative means it will the kinetic energy will it will slow down it will slow down object friction also it will take out it will take out the kinetic energy will re decrease the kinetic uh, but when you have a positive work done when you have a positive work done this kinetic energy will increase it will increase the kinetic energy and uh, lastly we have the normal force Calculate the work done by the normal force. Okay, let's draw the normal force, the normal force and the displacement. So as we can see, uh, the work done also labeled as WN, work done by normal force. The normal force dot displacement or NS cos theta. Now we have this diagram, we can get the angle theta. So for this one, the normal force and the displacement is 90 degree. The theta is 90 degree between normal and displacement. So, uh, so it is cos 90. Uh, cos 90, what do we get? Cos 90. Cos 90 is 0. Uh, cos 90 is 0. So, in the end, anything, um, anything you multiply by, um, sorry, yeah? Anything you multiply by is zero, you get zero, isn't it? Uh, so anything multiplied by zero, you get zero. So this one is zero joule. So it this this means that uh, uh zero work done uh does not increase or decrease the kinetic energy. Okay, it uh it does not do any work at all. Okay, uh, no work done. Uh, if so, the ang when the angle theta is ninety degree. Between the force and displacement, you will have zero work done, no work done. Okay, uh, work done is maximum when cos zero, uh, or we can say force and displacement they are parallel, same direction. And this one you have maximum work done. Uh, if ninety degree, you have zero work done. Okay. Now, uh, then we have the E. What is the total kinetic energy? Sorry, what is the total kinetic energy of the block after 5 meter displacement? Okay, so we want to find the final kinetic energy. Final kinetic energy, we use the work energy theorem. Yeah, work energy theorem. Or uh, it is uh, work energy theorem is the net work done or total work done equal to change in kinetic energy. Change in kinetic energy means final kinetic minus initial kinetic energy. Okay, uh, so first of all, let us find the net work done or total work done. Total work done means we total up all the work done. Yeah, we have work done by gravity, friction, uh, external force, and normal force. So we total them up. So it's W gravity plus work done by friction plus work done by external force plus work done by the normal. So we total them. So we have. Um, just uh, uh, just substitute all the information we have we got just now. Um, right, plus the friction is negative one six nine point nine one five, negative one six nine point nine one five plus 
Uh, the work done by external force is 600 Joule. 600 and the normal force is 0. Okay? Uh, so we total them, we got we got a positive uh, 184.835 Joule. Okay, so the total work done is positive. Positive means finally it will increase the kinetic energy as a whole after all the work done. Huh? The kinetic energy of the object will surely increase because it has positive work done. Yeah? So we use the work energy theorem and we can find the final kinetic energy. Okay, so the net work done will equal to final kinetic minus initial kinetic. Um, and we get, uh, just substitute back the information, what is 4.835? equal to the final kinetic minus okay because uh, initially it is um, not moving the object initially is not moving so we can say it is at rest initially the block is at rest so it has zero kinetic energy okay so initially the kinetic energy is zero uh, so uh, uh, this work done is actually the kinetic energy gain so the final kinetic energy is actually equal to 184.835 Joule. Uh, this is the kinetic energy uh, gain by the object, the final kinetic energy. All right. Okay, then we can find the final velocity already. Yeah, final velocity. So we just equate this equal to half mv square. So 184.835 equal to the mass just now is 10 kilogram, isn't it? Okay, the mass is 10 kilogram, yes. So the velocity is equal to 6.808 uh, meter per second. Uh, so that's the final velocity. Yeah, once we got the final kinetic energy. Okay, uh, so uh, remember. Um, to find to calculate the work done for each of these forces, remember first we draw the free boy diagram, and then we draw separate diagram for each forces. We have a uh, uh, mg with displacement, we have the friction with displacement, we have the external force with displacement, and normal force with displacement, because we want to find the angle theta. We want to find the angle theta, and uh, we just apply the formula. W equal to Fs cos theta, just substitute the angle and the forces, and we can get the work done for each of them. And the total work done is just total up all the work done, okay, and equate to the change in kinetic energy, and we can get the final kinetic energy as well as final velocity. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the lesson and you understand uh, uh, all the concepts. So please stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.